Uh, hey YouTube, um, I'm going to show you how to create um, a bucket server. And so first I'm going to begin with the run.bat. Um, so basically, um, I'll, I'll uh, give this code in the description uh, because the bucket um, created server guide is offline at the moment. And I will uh, put that in there for you. And so basically, this contains uh, some stuff here. I'm not exactly sure what that is. But this here means that your program files, then Java, JRE7, uh, I have Java 7, and um, check if you have Java 7 or 6. You want to go to, you want to type into command prompt Java, then dash version, and mine says Java version 1.7. If it says 1.6, then you use JRE6. And yes, you must have um, a Java runtime or Java um, uh, developers kit. Um, see, I have Java um, runtime edition. Um, I would just use RE, but it's the same thing. Um, if if you're using um, JDK, uh, Java developer kit, then you just change it to JDK, then the number. Not sure um, what the number is because I don't use it. Then this line of code, then it says XMS 4 gigabytes. And this is how much you want to allocate to um, your server. And, and then this is the name of the jar file. And it has to be in the same folder. Okay, so I'm going to go to... Oops. Going to go to the forums and there's a download link right here in the recommended builds and it says you may also download the latest 1.1 development on recommended build and so I'm going to download 1.1 okay so going to save this into my to here and I'm going to name it exactly what the name is in the uh, file in a run.bat, which is a uh, craft bucket uh, 1.1. And now let me show you in the bat in the bat file. Um, it says craft bucket dash 1.1, and you don't and the jar dot jar must be there, but you don't need to put the dot jar here because I don't show file extensions. And also, you should be downloading Notepad++ because uh, it helps editing permissions files and such, and it really helps with the spacing and syntax stuff. And you also want to go to Settings, Preferences, Language Menu, Tab Settings, and make sure Tab Size 4 and Replace by Space is checked. Um, now that you have that running, you can uh, click Run. And it'll start up everything and create all the files. And it creates the worlds. But let's just let this finish. Okay, it finished and it took 14 seconds, um, of almost 15. And so you have to uh, type stop. To stop it correctly, do not click the X. So you have everything here. And I'll explain a little bit of the stuff. Um, basically, in this plugins folder, you want to drop your plugins. And um, if you watch my B permission video, you can uh, see all that. Um, the uh, B permissions plugin, uh, command book, and such. And the world file is just a world in your data players. Don't really need to touch that. Um, and in the server law, in the server file. You actually shouldn't touch this because that's the vanilla file, so you want to go to bucket. But all some options will be there. So allow ender will be, you must send it to true. Then one on overload, some people will disable this. It says can't keep up um, server overload. Spawn radius, I always set to zero because um, only ops, like on your default spawn for the world, um, you can't, this means you can't build 16 blocks away from it as a radius. And I always set that to zeros because I don't use op, and that's pretty much it. Um. So um, in the ops file, you can put your name. Mine is arrows to the knee, like spelled like that. Caps doesn't matter. 
Well, actually, it might, but uh, just type it as caps. Um, permissions here. Now, permissions here is about parent and child nodes. Um, I forgot how to set this up, but basically, a parent node is a node that um, it it gives um other nodes, smaller nodes like uh, if you watch my B permissions command book dot star um the star is a wild card and gives all command book commands and that's a sort of like a par uh, parent node and you can set up um custom parent nodes here um uh i think that's it if you have any questions um you can ask on the bucket forums or you can ask me directly um make sure to check out my server which is jasonmc.zapdo.org i'll post um the the address in uh, the description box. Um, it's not always online because it's a personal server, but um, we're building stuff. Um, you can check it out if you like. Um, but okay.